thank you very much for this honor. It is my privilege to be in China and also first time to go in. I will show you today some of our observations on NDP, which we are very uh, proud to investigate because we found that NDP is one of the important agents in protecting central nervous system in different kinds of injuries. 他说今天呢，他将分享他在那个呃，我我们呃这个嗯这个药呃这个本泰呢呃对中枢神经系统治疗呃疾病各各种损伤疾病的一个药效。We have a large program on nanomedicine working on central nervous system injury and repair, and NDP fits very well in this large program. 他们有很多研究项目呢，主要是研究纳米医学的一个呃对中枢神经系统疾病的一个治疗作用。他们发现呢，就是呃低苯肽和纳米医学这个载体系统的联合，对中枢神经系统的损伤有很好的一个疗效
，就如果我们要很好的保护我们中枢神经系统的功能呢，我们需要一个完整的血脑屏障。And there are good things that still we have some drugs, including NPP, that can influence blood and barrier under disease conditions. Uh, now we have studied and found that many drugs can affect the brain circuitry. The blood and barrier resides mainly between the tight junctions of these two endothelial cells. This is lanthanum. It's an Diameter is 12 minus strong, very small, and the endothelial cell membrane of the barrier also protects the blood brain barrier, and they are destroyed or altered in disease conditions. 血脑屏障的这个呃隔断或者是保对中枢神经系统的保护功能呢，和它的组成，特别是这个紧密连接息息相关。Working with U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory and some other Military medicine. Since 2004, we came to know that our military, in any country, they are exposed to various kinds of nanoparticle pollution. For example, missile explosion, gunpowder explosion, and even they are working in another environment that is polluted. For example, by silica dust. So they are exposing to these nanomaterials, and when they get the injury to the brain or spinal cord, it is much more worse than having injury at city or places where there is no pollution. 呃，他自二零零四年开始呢，就和军方进行了一系列的合作和研究。在众多的这些研究里面，他们发现了这个呃，军人和普通的人受伤之后是不一样的，因为军人他在战战场上会暴露在。呃，由于爆炸或者是这些枪击，呃，使用之后产生的大量的包括在碳，包括碳在内的多种纳米粒子，这种纳米粒子的存在呢，会影响我们血脑屏障的功能，从而导致了不一样的一个病理生理变化。So in this context, we have started our research on NVP, and we see that the drug could be capable in reducing. Central nervous system injury under various circumstances. With the help of U.S. government and uh, U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, we are working on brain and spinal cord injury, also Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, high altitude brain sickness. As you know, that high altitude can itself lead to brain edema. So think about that. When our soldiers are posted at high altitude, they get the brain injury. It would be more difficult to treat them. So therefore, we are also working in this area and obviously blast brain injury. This is one of the worst kind of uh, brain injury where there, there is tissue loss, cerebral hemorrhage and many other things, fracture of the skull and piercing. It is very complicated. So we are working on this aspect in an animal model with US Air Force Research Laboratory and finally heat stroke. You know that also produces brain injury and when very high environmental heat it also produces brain damage. And lastly, uh, 由于低本肽呢，在我们中枢神经系统，因为在中国对呃中枢神经系统有很多疾病呢，具有一个治疗的效果。因此呢，他呃呃就是进行了一系列的研究，包括就是对和军方和美国的军方以及他们。现在呃，当地的军方进行了一系列研究，主要包括呢，就是丁苯肽在脑和脊髓损伤中的一个应用的研究，呃，还有呃，我们常见的中枢神经系统疾病，包括阿尔海默氏病、丁苯肽，以及呃高原脑病，就因为有些士兵呢会呃，由于战争任务会到呃海拔比较高的地方执行任务。此外的话，还有就是。在视频当呃当中比较常见的严重的一个致命的损伤是开放性颅脑损伤，以及呃暴露在呃比较炎热的环境沙漠中而导致的中暑，还有严重的呃后果的心心心脏骤停等方面进行了各种方面的一个研究。And last but not the least, we have the problem of cardiac arrest because this is global ischemia and people can have sudden cardiac arrest. It leads to death, and of course, brain damage is paramount. So we are also including this NBP studies to reduce the brain injury in sudden cardiac arrest in animal models. 
呃，特别需要强调一下，我们大家都知道，呃，心脏骤停之后，对，呃，特别是我们脑子产生严重的一个后果。那他们也对这个低粉肽在心脏骤停后方面的治疗也进行了一系列的研究。Nowadays, since last ten years or so, people are working on nano delivery of drugs. Why they are using nano delivery? Because there are literature telling that if the drug is delivered using nano medicine, it is more effective, it is long lasting, and produce better results than the parent medicine. 呃，现在纳米医学呢风靡全球。呃，他们主要现在研究的方向呢就是纳米医学